of critical importance. We will continue to see individual liability prosecuted when it comes to bullying and harassment. In many organisations, I'm sure many of you would fall into this category, you take occupational health and safety very seriously. Your leaders, your board members have bought into that because they get the fact that jail terms can be imposed for OHS breaches. It doesn't take too much uh, persuasion to get someone to accept the importance of an issue in those circumstances. Use that as your point of leverage internally to get greater buy-in when it comes to bullying, harassment and workplace behaviour. There's a more contentious field developing. Um, Australian law is really beginning to launch away even from um, UK law in this field. We're more and more willing to accept that an employer has a legitimate interest in keeping a stable workforce. And what that means is that we can have a restraint that says you, the departing executive, can be held to a commitment, a contractual commitment, that you won't recruit staff from your former colleagues. Now, one of the reasons why I suggest that's a contentious development is that the poor old former colleagues, who may also like to go to the new and vibrant organisation that is now being set up by the departing executive, they might actually want to move as well. And this particular kind of restraint can have an impact on the range of choices available to them.